I love The Rock. Weird segue, but not the weirdest. That's probably four or five. And you know me, I'm not a, I can't wear a metal shirt because I'm on TV and <laughs> didn't want to get it licensed. But here's the thing. I talk about metal all the time. That's not what I'm talking about when I say The Rock. I love The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Everybody loves that dude. He's delightful. My wife calls him my man crush. She's not wrong. <laughs> First time she found out about the man crush. I'd had man crushes before in the early 90s. Uh, I saw, um, well, late 90s, whenever they came out, the Lord of the Rings films. And uh, that Aragorn, I was like, oh, he's delightful. <laughs> he could save me from shit. Look at him. That Legolas is pretty dashing also. Those guys are right on. And then, I got into Jason Statham. I love Jason Statham. Saw the first Transporter movie. I was like, that guy's a badass. He'd destroy me, but he's a nice, charming little British guy. And then we'd go for a pint afterwards. <laughs> He'd call me mate and we'd work out our problems. And then I got into The Rock. I was a, I was a fan of his wrestling. And then he started doing action movies. And action movies is my shit. I fucking love a good action movie. So he did uh, The Rundown. He did Walking Tall. One day I'm in New York with my wife and uh, we're walking through Manhattan having a nice day. We get to be in this beautiful city together and we like don't have to do work and we're just having a good time. We have a great lunch. We're walking through the city with the love of my life, this beautiful girl. And I see The Rock climbing out of an Escalade and heading into the David Letterman show. She doesn't see that. All she sees is her husband look over and go, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck? She looks over expecting like some nerdy shit because she knows how nerdy I am. She's like, well, there's gonna be like a Millennium Falcon with like 20 Wookiees on it dancing. <laughs> that would get the same response from me. I'd probably join them. But no, she lives over and sees Dwayne. And she's like, oh man, is he your boyfriend? And I was like, no, I'm, yeah, maybe. So he's my boyfriend. I've watched all his movies. They're not all great. Most of them aren't. But I'm still a fan. I hang with him. He's super charming. And I start following him on Twitter. 10 years ago, probably. That's where this joke starts. Believe me, it gets timely. <laughs> I'm in Target with the family, and uh, I got a deuce in the Target. Now, some people have problems shitting in public. I don't. Like, I have a friend who's like, dude, I can't shit at your house. I'm like, I can shit at your house. Like, <laughs> I'm shitting every room of your house. I don't give a fuck. Like, why are you weird? So of course I can shit in Target. I go in there, I clean it up a little, and I'm, I'm taking care of business. I pull out my phone. I see something that Dwayne tweeted. So I respond to his tweet. He didn't respond to me. That's all right. Four years after that, <laughs> I'm in Target again. God damn it. I'm 41615, and like I said, this does become more timely, so hang in there. I'm in Target again, and I'm shitting again. But just so you guys know, like, I don't shit in Target all the time. It's probably only three or four times, two times from this story, and maybe one or two other times. All right? Just so you don't walk away from this with that being the takeaway. Like, Posein only shits in Target. What a weirdo. No, the, it's just a setup for the story. And the point is I, I can shit anywhere. So I'm sitting there, and this is where it gets weird. Because I'm reminiscing. On him. I'm sitting on the toilet and I go, last time I was here. So that proves that I don't shit there all the time because it had been about four years. 
So I'm there again on 41615, and instead of responding to any of his tweets, I decided to just send him a tweet out of, out of the air, and I had this thought, so I was like, oh, that's a pretty good joke. I'll, I'll send that to him. So I tweeted, it gets a little dirty. <laughs> I said, if, and I added him, if at the rock said, I'm gonna eat your pussy off, comma, <laughs> women would swoon. I see it once in a Target, and my wife wants a divorce. <laughs> Solid joke, right? <laughs> Maybe not the best joke you'll hear here tonight, but I gave it to Twitter for free. <laughs> You guys had to pay to come in here and hear that. <laughs> I threw that one out as a freebie. And I got like 950 likes, a bunch of retweets, like 400 something, and then responses. I got 26 responses. A couple hours later, one of them is from The Rock. <laughs> Check it out. There. See it? Blue check. Big handsome gentleman over there. He says, and he asks me, he's replying to me, the Brian Posehn, that's my name. He says, the Brian Posehn, true buddy, but when I say it, it's always with a wink and a smile. I was like, God damn it. He took my dirty joke and made it charming. He's the best, that's why we love him. That's why he's gonna be our next president. He's gonna unite us all. <laughs> right and the left, and he's gonna fight the aliens. He's not even done with this tweet though. He's a pro. He ends it with this. You moan and rub your balls. <laughs> so I heard. Now I'm like, fuck, The Rock's funnier than me. <laughs> like, oh my God, he's funnier than me. So I showed that to my wife, and she's like, God, you're an idiot. <laughs> That's what you were doing in the bathroom that long? <laughs> and I was like, oh, yep. <laughs> I was like, this, just so you know, though, it was kind of the best day of my life. <laughs> one of them, one of them. <laughs> It's up there with you and, and also the baby. But then it's right there. <laughs> so I didn't bug him. You know, part of me was like, I'll start tweeting him on the regular, no? You know, be pals, we'll be pals. Or maybe I get my management involved and like get a, like a meeting, a legit meeting, and go in and pitch him something. I got some ideas. Die hard in a thing, I don't know. <laughs> but I didn't want to be all thirsty. So I just left him alone. Let him just do whatever, you know? And if it was meant to happen, it was meant to happen. And then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this year, well, actually last year, on 3-13-21, and now I hadn't bugged him since 4-16-15, he replies to our old thread. Out of nowhere. I just wake up and I see this. Just did a spit take at this exchange between us. And now I don't fuck with emojis at all, but he does like the crying laughing emojis. It's the yellow face with the tears coming from the eyes. And then he goes, hopefully your target trips have evolved. <laughs> God, he's awesome. And then he gives me two smiling or crying laughing them emojis and two sets of brown hands praying and now he does the purple devil face I don't know the emojis like I said purple devil face that means fucking right because <laughs> a purple eggplant means fucking is purple just the millennial <laughs> generation Z fucking color now don't get it twisted I don't think the rock wants to fuck me <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm glad somebody believes in me. I don't, though. I, I don't think that's where it comes from. But I will tell you this. I got in there. Dude can't stop thinking of me. 
I'm living in the rock's brain rent free, man. One morning, he gets up, he heads down to the dungeon, it's four in the morning, that's what he calls his gym. He's in the Iron Paradise, that's his other name for the gym. Oh, believe me, I know, I can almost do that right. It's about drive, it's about power, it's about something, something devour. So he's in there, and he puts DMX on, you know, or he put, probably puts his own song on. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. A little narcissism makes people strong. <laughs> he's in there chilling. He's doing some push shoves. I don't work out clearly, so I don't even know if that's a thing. <laughs> he's doing like 50 reps of the push shove. And then he thinks of me, the ginger squatch. I just pop into his brain like, Beep. And he's like, oh man, I'm gonna tweet that guy, I'm gonna. So I show that to my wife. And she's like, so? I'm like, God, you're both idiots. And I was like, all right. But just so you know, The Rock could take me away from you. I just want it out there. I just want it all out on the table. The Rock could take me away from you. And it's not, it won't take a huge effort. All it'll be is like me and my, I'm in my backyard smoking a joint by myself at like two in the morning. My dog's chilling with me. He DMs me. He's like, come to Florida. I fucking hate Florida. I travel everywhere, but it's my least favorite place to go. It sucks. There's a reason death metal comes from there, man. Those kids grow up hating life and they're just like, Bleh, Florida. I took a shower once in Orlando. I got dirty while I was in the shower. I was like, fuck you, Florida. Oh my God, I gotta take a third shower. The fuck? But am I moving to Florida to live with The Rock? Fuck yeah, I am. I'm on the next jetty sets for me, man. So I get in this private jet, I fly out to Florida. We hang out, and like I said, it's not sexual, you know, but uh, we'll just talk about movies and wrestling and cool stuff. Maybe we'll cuddle. I'd like to cuddle with a bro. It's okay. I've never been small spooned in my life. I'm always the big spoon. Even when I fucked a tall girl, I was still the big spoon. I'd love to be small spooned by somebody. Everybody wants to be small spooned once in their life. And he's technically shorter than me, but he's got those huge arms, those huge pythons. I just picture us on a giant hammock. Built to hold 600 pounds. <laughs> We're hanging out on this. He got in a DXL through the catalog. <laughs> We're on a man hammock, a mammock. <laughs> and he's got, he's got his arms around me. And I'm just like giggling and looking at his tattoos. <laughs> What's this one mean, daddy? <laughs> yeah, I call him daddy. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's a... Oh, my God, your voice is so soothing. And I'm like, what's this one? I don't normally enjoy tribal work, but that's impeccable. And he's like, well, that's out of Pittsburgh. A guy named Bones. And I got to see Bones. It took 12 hours on the table. And I'm like... Because I just feel more secure than I've ever felt in my life. I wake up eight hours later, fully rested, like... Is it a cheat day, Daddy? Yeah, we're making pancakes. <laughs> so I told my wife the whole joke. And she's like, you're a fucking idiot. And I'm like, clearly. 